People who have posted on R, roast me and regretted it. What was the comment that destroyed you? I'm from India, I posted when I was in my second year of engineering. Someone commented that I shouldn't be wasting time on engineering as I'll end up in tech support. I graduated last year and guess what? I'm working as a tech support specialist. FML. My dumb ass posted on there thinking it would be funny and got my pride completely curb stomped. I think the best comment I got was, you look like a Muppet designed to teach children about lesbians. I bet they use that septum ring to pull you away from the buffet lines. I posted on an old account years ago the only comment I got was, no, someone telling me I should shave my beard because it looked terrible. Despite everyone who had seen me with and without a beard saying it looked great and really suited me. I relayed this to the commenter. He responded, how bad is your bare face for them to say that then? Not me but recently gross gore. A streamer posted himself on roast me and the comments brought out his previous sexual harassment cases. The person who was harassed spoke out and so did others. Cue to him losing his Twitch partnership and getting banned. I didn't regret it, but this one stood out to me the most. You look like a hobbit from a Bollywood rendition of The Lord of the Rings. The most savage one I've ever seen was a response to a young, attractive Turkish woman. It was something like, your face is so forgettable. It's like what happened in Armenia during WW1, Turkey still denies the Armenian genocide happened. GF was not happy with, you look like a discount sex doll. Her, natural, big lips may have played a part. For what it's worth I told her repeatedly it was a bad idea. I can't say it destroyed me but I only posted on roast me once. Posted on an old account that's gone now, and was expecting the five head jokes. Totally knew that was coming after all that's why I have bangs lol. But the best one I've ever gotten was, you look like a pedophile's wet dream. You look like a Keebler elf with Down syndrome. That one hit the hardest. Someone told me, you look like someone went into the me creator and set your eyes as far apart as they could go. I laughed but I also died. The Automod said that it could not be submitted because it may have minors. I paid a lot for my lip fillers and am very proud of them, but then a guy on R, roast me said that my lips look like an old, guy truck driver's prolapsed butthole. At the time I read it I just laughed, but later that night when I looked in the mirror my inflated lips suddenly looked really ugly and ridiculous to me. I couldn't stop picturing prolapsed buttholes in my mind and to this day I can't stand looking at myself in the mirror anymore. I confronted my friends who told me that my lip fillers looked nice and they confessed that they didn't really think they looked nice and they just lied to me to be polite. An NBSP. Moral of the story. Be honest with your friends, especially about lip fillers. You look like the human version of a soft handshake, my buddies and I still get a kick out of this one. Edit. Grammar. When I smile I get super deep forehead wrinkles and prior to posting I hadn't been insecure about these 5 years later I'm still super insecure about them and have bangs to hide them because I got like 8 different comments about them. Moral of the story don't post on roast me if you aren't prepared to unlock a new insecurity. So I don't regret it but someone said my hairline is so far back that even Rosa Parks wouldn't sit obit which it great lol. Someone once said I looked like a sexually deprived lesbian. I'm male by the way. Another said I looked like the after pick from a crystal meth PSA. I'm curious to know why anyone would post there now in the first place. We all know it's a place where people go to be cruel. What the hell makes you want to post there? I posted in the midst of trying to lose weight, in what I thought was a cute new yellow shirt, anonymous account. Someone said I looked like a failed bulimic Spongebob. I returned the shirt and spent months relapsing into my old eating disorder. They managed to be 100% right. Edit. Thanks to those of you with kind words. Sorry if I can't get back to you individually. I'm working on myself at the moment and in therapy, so I am looking forward to a better year. Dot. For those of you saying rude things, the original question is asking people who regretted posting to the sub why they regretted it, and that's what I was answering. You don't have to blow up my inbox telling me that I'm an idiot. Save your strength. This one person told me, you're the product of Yo Mama riding a zebra's face at a zoo-themed swingers party. Not me personally, but I saw an article about an Instagram model that deleted social media after posting on R, roast me and getting obliterated. You look like the word lettuce. Edit. For the people who want to know what that looks like. Here is the post. It's my old account that got deleted. Definitely didn't destroy me. 
but someone told me I look like I could cosplay as an onion. I have no idea what it means, but I think it's hilarious. You look like how touching wet food in the sink feels, was the one that got me but my favorite was. You look like broke ass Doctor Strange, Doctor Spare Change. The, has one night stand, keeps anime on it. Got me. Oof I'm sure there are a lot of them. I wish that they'd understand that no one on our, roast me will hold back. There will be tons of insults below the belt. As a kind of fat guy with glasses, probably the most eviscerating comment I got was, looks like Harry Potter has let himself go. I mean, pretty easy, but also pretty universally understood. I'm not trying to advertise, but loads of people think that roasting on R, roast me is too cruel. I created a sub for more light-hearted roasts here. R, roast me light. Did you receive your free starter cat in the mail yet? Not a comment but a crudely drawn caricature of me. They uploaded the drawing maybe like 20 minutes after I had made the post. Out of everything else, that's what got me the most. The fact that it took a complete stranger roughly 20 million to create a distorted and unappealing image of their own perspective about my physical looks. Feels bad man. Edit. Yes I am fully aware of what the point of R. Roast me is. I was aware of what I was getting myself into, just wasn't as prepared as I thought I would be. The post was made over a year ago, and it's since been deleted so no you can't find the drawing. I didn't have much issue with mine, I have never been one that let people's words bother me. But I used to live with a girl who after she saw mine and the clever responses I got tried to do her own, and she was reduced to tears by how just outright mean some of the comments were. I'm guessing it had something to do with high foreheads. I honestly don't understand why anyone would post on that awful sub. The best I can come up with is people with self-esteem so low they look for the scraps of validation that come with at least being told they're right to hate themselves, but even that sounds like a stretch. It's really beyond me. You look like a shittier budget version of yourself, got me good. Was told I was too handsome to post there and was sent a check for 10 grand for my trouble. Came to this thread for stories. Left with two stories and 48 comments about people complaining that, r, roast me is mean. Pathetic. Why are people hating on a sub for being mean when it's literally called roast me, make it make sense. The real roast if r, roast me is not getting any comments at all. I am from Vietnam and they called me a $10 blowjob Saigon ho. Triggered because that reminded me of my mama. I wish the term of, roasting, would be taken differently. A light-hearted, harmless joke. Not a thread of comments talking about how ugly or disgusting they are. This is gonna be a lot of alt accounts posting their own jokes. A cokehead dumped me for a cokehead and someone who claimed they knew me said they were better off cold sweat smile I got sad. I'm Australian. I've never understood roasts. They seem so mean. Why are they funny? I always thought, I'll never understand American humor. Where is the logic in saying such cruel things? Are you Berlin? Because it looks like you got fucked by three nations. If your acne was braille it would read daddy was mean to me. Someone said I got a bad lip job and I should ask for my money back. They are my natural lips. I asked for it lol but felt bad about it off and on ever since. I posted a buddy a few years back, mentioned he was in the navy with me and the best one was, I bet your two dads get excited every time there's a knock on their door, only to be majorly disappointed that it's you and not a folded flag, here is the post. I've never posted on there because every time a woman posts the replies only go one of two ways. If she's regular sized or larger, everyone calls her fat. If she's skinny, everyone calls her a whore. They aren't very creative over there. I'm tempted to post there, but I can already predict the jokes. Half will be about my teeth, the other half about my weight and the third half about my math skills.